The challenge, can I say, for church planners in this arena is, as you seek to build the argument for the existence of this church that you are planting, and its distinctiveness and its uniqueness, and as you cast the vision more widely for other people to join you in this venture, you need to be very, very careful that the narrative does not stray into arrogance and triumphalism and hubris, um, or forget that you are building on the shoulders of others. In this episode, it's called Three More Things. And as we finish this section on building partners for your church plan, Derek, you want to have a rant about three things. I want to have a rant about three things. I do. Here they are. Go on. Here's the three things. First one is this. Uh, When you're planting, as you're going towards launch, number one, remember the Richard Johnson rule. Now, you know who Richard Johnson is, don't you? Oh, yeah, there's a school named after him. Yeah, that's right. No. I didn't go there, but yes. Yeah, no. Well, who was he? No, I don't know that much. You don't know? Oh, okay. Well, here you go. Education. This is for free. Uh, Richard Johnson, he was the first chaplain to Australia, arriving with the first fleet in 1988. 17? 1978. Just 1788. I'm, I think that's a year. Anyway, he was sent by, amongst others, John Newton, William Wilberforce, out to Australia. He was the first church planter in Australia. That's so cool. It is so cool. So what does that mean? Well, as you plant, keep in mind that you and all others are building on the shoulders of those who came before us, including Richard Johnson. This is what we call the Richard Johnson rule. You are not the first. You are not the first, and I was not the first. And it just gives us a perspective on us and our plan as we do it. So that's rule number one, the Richard Johnson rule. That's nice. End of the first rant. There you go. That was a mild rant, wasn't it? That was good. Okay, here's the second one. Um, I mentioned this in a previous video. It's good to talk to local ministers you're heading in to plant within. You're in partnership with them. You are not in competition to them. Mm. You're not asking permission to plant, though, but... You want to recognise that there are others working in the same field that you're working in, and it may well be that you will be building on their shoulders. They serve the same God. They're struggling towards the same ends as you. You may not agree with everything they do, um, but there is a humility, an appropriate humility, in talking to them beforehand. So prior to planting, keeping in mind the Richard Johnson rule, seek out the local ministers in your area that you're planting, listen to them, Mm -hmm. pray with them, and pray for them, before you actually launch. Mm. I think that's really important. Here's the third one. This is more of a rant than the other two. Yeah, go for right, it. Here's it the rant. Be very, very, very careful of your public narrative around your church plan. Be very careful. Social media is an amazing tool, which I despise, and there's other <laughs> podcasts on that, but it is a very effective tool for getting the word out there, mm. for creating energy and awareness and community. The challenge, can I say, for church planners in this arena is, as you seek to build the argument for the existence of this church that you are planting and its distinctiveness and its uniqueness, and as you cast the vision more widely for other people to join you in this venture, you need to be very, very careful that the narrative does not stray into arrogance and triumphalism and hubris, um, or forget that you are building on the shoulders of others. You may come in and reap the benefits of people who have been there for years, ploughing away and seeing no fruit. And so be very, very careful of your public narrative in this. You can cast a strong, clear gospel vision that people will be drawn to without undermining and alienating every other church in the area and all the other Christian leaders in the area. You can do it. It is possible. More than that. More than that, you can do it in such a way that affirms them and supports them and encourages them and lifts the whole tide of the gospel in your area. Social media can be a great tool for getting the word out there, but keep in mind the Richard Johnson rule. It is not about you. It's about the gospel. It's about God and his mission. So they're the three rules. Richard Johnson rule, talk to local ministers, be very, very careful of your public narrative. It's not about us. It's about the gospel. That's all. Well done. That was a good rant. Thank you. I love that we always have an episode that it's like, 
And here are the five things yeah, we couldn't fit in <laughs> that we just want to show exactly me somehow what it is. and tell 